In the Bible, you find that expression called the afflictions of the righteous. To say the afflictions of the wicked is expected. Even when bad people don't suffer, you get even angry. And not that you want them to suffer, but you just want to teach them a lesson. But it's a problem when the righteous should have afflictions. What are afflictions? Afflictions are simply anything which causes you pain or suffering. So we can use expressions like hardship or difficult times. Nobody wants difficult things. When you went to school and they gave you a difficult question, you do not like the professor who gave you difficult questions. Because you don't like difficult things. So difficult persons, you don't like them. Oh, my boss is too difficult. Your boss is an affliction. <laughs> Nobody wants difficult things. But the truth of the matter is when you study the scriptures, the truth is when we go to the Bible, we should not go with our preconceived idea of God. We should go and accept his identity. Many times we say that, I was thinking God should be like, question, how did you manage to become the God maker? He is the man maker, you are not the God maker. He has this said before you came, so you don't project who you think a God should be like. You don't expect that, I was thinking God should be like this. It's like a baby is being born. And as the baby is coming, I'm expecting my mother to be the richest person in the world. Will she be tall or short? Fair or dark in complexion? Then the baby comes out and says, Ah, doctor, I was expecting my mother to be. It looks very funny, but that's what we do with God. Can you imagine the baby said that? I was expecting that the doctor will be some special person delivering me. But we do that with God that I was expecting that God will be like this. I was expecting that God will be like that. He said, You come and you accept who your mom is. You accept who he is. The truth of the matter is that our God is a perfect God. It's just that we have not known him. And the more you understand his works, you know that he is just amazing. Amen. So the truth of the matter is that righteous people have afflictions. So if you think that you are going to be a Christian and your afflictions will cease, it's not true. Because righteous people, they have afflictions. Christ Palace International Ministries.